Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today's video is going to be how to build these small bathroom fixture items. But before we get started let me tell you what we're building. We have a small sink here. We have a uh, hand air dryer. We have a toilet paper dispenser. A toilet with a seat on the up position and a stand-up urinal. The first item we're going to build is the small sink you saw on the far left of the image. Um, typically what I do when I'm building stuff is I start with a small plate because I like to tie all the floors in the uh, builds that I do. So we have the 1x2 gray plate, put the 1x2 white brick on top of that, place your 1x1 brick on top of that, put your corner modified plate we'll call it on top of that and then I like to use these little pieces here as as faucets and I also like to use them as uh, like flush toilet hand handles and such but anyway that is the sink the next item we have up here is the hand dryer and it's just these three simple pieces you could even use a round uh, light gray piece for that as well that's what I consider to be the push button to start this is your uh, half round uh, brick. But anyway, take that, you put the round plate on one side, and then you put the light bluish gray wedge on the other, and now you have a little air hand dryer. The next item we have up here is the paper or toilet paper towel dispenser. Uh, these are the pieces that you will be using to build the toilet paper dispenser. What it is, is I have this here because you would want to have a wall built to build, put this on and you want it to be a two studs on the side brick uh, for this build. But again, it's a very simple build. We take our white one by two tile, we place it on there like so. And then we take our round tile and use three small round plates to put on the back of it. And once you get those on there, you just click this one on there like so. And it looks like a little toilet paper dispenser like what you would see in a large public restroom. The next item we have up here is the stand-up urinal. And once again, I'm going to be using this wall. Uh, as you, The way that I build it, you mount it to the wall and you want a two stud brick in the wall for this to attach to. Anyway, we start the build with a 2x2 two two plate for your base. And then we take this Technique brick with the hole in the center. We put that on the bottom. Then we take our two white cheese wedge pieces and put one on each side of the white brick we just put down. Now that we have that, we would take our uh, 90 degree tile. I guess we could call it. I'm I'm not really sure what the piece is. It's a one by two modified plate is how they have it listed under at BrickLink. But you put each one of those on either side of that, and then you take this modified plate and you click it onto the back of that. So now you have a partial urinal, and then we take the jumper brick and put it on top and we put the flusher handle on top like that. And then like I said, when you're doing the build, you would take and place that on the top two studs there onto the wall. And now that leaves you with a very small gap. And what's perfect about that small gap is when you tile the floor, that makes this flush with the floor. If you wanted to be this to be slightly off the floor, Simply put your modified stud that's going to be two up from the floor of your build. And now when you put it on there, you're going to put it on this piece to hold it. <clears throat> now it'll actually be off the floor and it's still just low enough for a minifig to actually use. The last item we're going to build is the toilet bowl with the lid in the up position. These are the pieces that you're actually going to be using for the toilet itself. 
this base plate is going to be required for the build and so is a one by two uh, plate as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the original build we started with and I'm going to show you how to place it on here because right here is where the toilet's going to go. But that's how the base of your tile should be in your bathroom that you're going to be putting this into. It's very simple once again. We take the one by two white brick. We put that on there like so. We take and put the white jumper tile on top of the one by two brick. Then we take our little headlight brick and put it on top of the jumper. Now we take our little flusher handle and we put that on top of the headlight brick is what I've always referred to those anyway. And now the stud that's on the front of the headlight brick is what we're going to clip the toilet to. So now we take the toilet seat anyway, and we put, whoops, and we put that onto the headlight brick like that. So like I said, it looks like the toilet seat is in the up position on the toilet bowl. And then this last stud, the two by two modified with the peg in the center goes there. So now it looks like you have a little, little toilet in your bathroom. Anyway, I just wanted to put all the builds back together at one last quick little look. Uh, have them in our little mock bathroom area, if you want to call it that, all lined up in a row on the wall. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope these small builds that I do like this are helpful for you to be able to build your own custom creations. Uh, as always, I thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. At the time of uh, me making this recording, I have 1,198 subscribers, I believe. And I am just blown away uh, by all the support and feedback that I constantly receive from all you guys, my viewers. And I really appreciate all the awesome, generous feedback you constantly give me. Uh, I, I, I couldn't be more happy, and I really appreciate that. It uh, inspires and drives me to want to build constantly bigger and better things. <laughs> anyway, before I ramble on too long, uh, I want to thank you all for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below, and we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.